As always, if you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question before listening on. In order to calculate the resistance of the cylinder, it might be helpful to draw the cross-sectional view of the cylinder. Now the question notes that the cylinder is hollow, and so we've left an empty region in the middle, and then it has an outer radius that we've marked in red, and then an inner radius that we've marked in blue. In order to calculate the resistance of this cylinder, we're ultimately going to be using the equation where we have rho multiplied by the length of the wire divided by its cross-sectional area. The challenge in this question becomes to find the cross-sectional area, which we've colored in pink. Now, in order to calculate that cross-sectional area, we would just note that the area would be the area of the outer circle minus the area of the inner circle. And that would give the area of this pink region. Notice that because pi appears in both terms of that area formula, it can be factored out. We'll also notice that the radii were given in terms of centimeters, so when we plug them in, we have to make sure to convert them to meters by multiplying their values by 10 to the minus 2. So the one radius will become 0.5 times 10 to the minus 2, and the other will become 1.2 times 10 to the minus 2. The resistivity of this wire was given in the question directly, and it's in a standard unit. And then the length of this wire was given again in centimeters, so that's going to become 4 times 10 to the minus 2 for the length. So with all those known values, we can plug into our resistance formula. And when we carefully plug that into our calculators, we get a resistance of approximately 3.7 times 10 to the power of 7 ohms. If we had to convert that into mega ohms, because it's such a large value, we could recall that 1 mega ohm is 10 to the positive 6 ohms. So if we perform that conversion, we would get 37 mega ohms. So that would be the correct answer. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click that thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Remember, you're welcome to send in your own question to the email address on the screen and I'll do my best to post an answer to it on YouTube.